Robbie, would it be better, a better approach to try to find ways to love people naturally first instead of trying to be of service? Because is the spiritual way, because it's the spiritual way everybody says to be? Yes. If you're if you're doing being of service to be a, to be spiritual, you're not really of service, right? It's a, it's a business deal, and so yeah. For, first things first. It's not to say I should not do anything for anybody. Uh, for I have to first, you know, conquer. No, of course, because it, it's not pure, right? It's not purely this or that. It's not, you know, I've got to love everybody and then I can be of service, or, you know, I. I'm, I'm doing it purely for me. It's, it's a continuum. It's a gradient. So it, there's, there is something in it for me. When I help others, you know, when I do some kind of service on any, on any level, I feel good, right? So I do get a payoff. I get a payoff being here, right? I get somebody, answer somebody's question, and they, and they, and, and they have an aha moment and, and a breakthrough, and their, their, their heart opens or there's some relief. I feel great, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I get a, I get a payoff. <clears throat> That's not the primary reason I do it. Right? The primary reason I do it is because I have no choice. <laughs> this is <laughs> I, I really don't. It's it is my nature. Right? It, it, I was built to do this. So let me. I'm digressing a little bit. Let, let's go to yes. How do you come to actually love people naturally? Well, the answer is very simple. You come to understand what life, love actually is, right? and you begin to apply it to you. And I don't mean you have to love yourself first before you can love anybody else. That's a platitude, and it's not really true. What it means is that the love that you want to express towards others, you also simultaneously need to express towards yourself. And what is that? This love is the feminine love, the 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 passive love, the receptive love. It is the love of allowing. It is allowing yourself to be who you are, to feel what you feel without judging it. So I feel this way and somebody says that you shouldn't feel that way, it's not spiritual. Well, well all that does is create an inner schism. It creates the separation, right? Because I am feeling that. And now I'm feeling guilty about feeling it and I try to not feel it. Right? And so I suppress it. I try to push it out of the way. But the fact of the matter is, it's there. <laughs> I am feeling it. So the fact comes before anything else. I am feeling it. If I wasn't feeling it, there couldn't have been any kind of reaction to it whatsoever. So that feeling was there first. So let's take away all of any ideas about what should be felt or how it should be approached or what I should do about it or any of that and just be with the feeling as it is. Right. That willingness to be with it as it is, even if you're not happy with it or don't like it or don't want it to go away, that is love. Love is a willingness to be with whatever is here in this moment without judgment, without saying it's got to be something different. Right Now, there may be a feeling you wish it was something different, but... To just acknowledge this feeling is here, I am feeling it, right? so I'm going to accept the fact that I'm feeling it, and I'm going to allow it to be here. That's love. That's, that is the essence. That's unconditional love. You know, love isn't, isn't this just warm, fuzzy feeling that you have about everybody, right? right? So that, you know, you're totally in love with somebody, and you think you're supposed to feel that way about absolutely everybody. It isn't true, right? <laughs> Right. So it starts inwardly because the this relationship you have with yourself and your willingness to be present with your own present with your own feelings is the foundation by which you can be present with other people's feelings without judgment. Right? <laughs> which means you come to a level of wise love, which is an understanding love. It's not a, a love that's being forced, you should love your enemies. Right? It's, it's a love that understands why they are the enemy, why they think the way they do, why you feel the way you do, and to recognize that in all situations, nobody's right and nobody's wrong. And so to com be completely willing to be present with my own feelings opens up the door for those feelings to be transmuted. Some of them just 
fall away because they aren't valuable anymore. But some of them were really actually very valuable things that because you wouldn't let yourself feel them, they got, they got, they got distorted. They got twisted out of shape. Right. And if you're, if you're there just with more, with more curiosity than judgment, they can tell their story because it's just a feeling inside of you. There's no reason to re reject a feeling. There can be no such thing as an unnatural feeling, right? So this, this relationship you begin to have with yourself, that is your inner world, the inner, all the voices and stuff, even the voices in your head that I talked about er, er, earlier, to allow them to be there, not to fight them. Right? And when you do that, you find that there's a power there. Right? That is not aggressive. It's not the masculine go fix it and assert things. It's the feminine. It's it's the it's the power of actual love because you're you're just, you are standing in this position of 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 total allowing, right? Which means nothing can move you. This is the ultimate power. This is the this is the power of the feminine. This is the goddess energy. It's an unmovable allowing, unmovable receptivity. So you can see that the question, you know, uh, I need I need to be of service to be spiritual. Doesn't even it's it's another it's another level altogether. You've transcended that, right? The very act that you do this for yourself is a service to all humanity. The highest service we can do for humanity is to wake up, to become awakened, because that's what points the that's what points that holds the candle up and points the way to, to, to a, a glorious life for all. Because when you do that in you, you can do it in somebody else. And so it becomes, to the degree I'm doing it for me, to that exact same degree I'm doing it for others. And that's the highest service. Holding somebody in their highest light, what, what could be a higher service than that? Really, with your whole heart recognizing the, the infinite potential of every individual, even though they don't know it yet. What could be more valuable than, than that? That is spiritual service of the higher order. And that may bring you to a place of, of being in service for others, sometimes in really mundane ways, holding the door for someone. Sometimes it'll be, you know, serving serving a, a lunch at a you know at a uh, at a shelter or, or something it could be getting on youtube and doing satsang um it can take many many different forms but the essence of it is this this fundamental open hearted re, uh, relationship with the self the self and me which can then see that same self in you and see all the obstacles in you that keep you from recognizing yourself as the self. And that's love. It's not the kind of love that's dainty or it's a nice feeling, right? It's not the kind of love that sits up on the shelf like fine china that only comes down on holidays and the kids still have to use the plastic plates. Right? It's very earthy. It's very gritty. It can handle anything. It can get right down in the mud with anything whatsoever because it is the pure power of allowing the unmovable nature of, of love itself, which is the feminine principle.